Well, we're back with another Pet of the Week. I'm here with Les Davidson in the Arbor, and we are here today with a very unique pet, or shall I say multiple pets. This is Les's fish tank. Now, we've never had a fish on Pet of the Week before, so this is our first. But this was, someone called and said we had to come see it. It's beautiful. So Les, how did you get into um, collecting tropical fish? When I was eight years old, my parents sent me off during the summertime to a camp. And that camp was on a lake. I had never been on a lake before. And the first day I walked down to the lake, I walked that onto a lock and I looked over the side into the water and I saw all these fish swimming around. I got all excited. I'd never seen that before. I got into fishing for the rest of my life. And then the first chance I had, I bought a little aquarium that's so big and had a few little guppies in it. And then I went on to some other fish and then I read a little book on breeding fish. So by the time I was 10 years old, I was breeding fish. Wow. And I got so excited, I went out and I got a bunch of little aquariums like this. And I started to breed fish. You've been a fish enthusiast ever since. That was it. So when it comes to, I've always wondered people with fish tanks, when it comes to picking your fish, how is there a process that you go through or do you go into a shop and do it by color, or how does that work? You go into a shop and you speak to the owner and you ask him questions and he tells you stories. And this is the first style of fish like this that I ever had. He introduced me to this fish, which is called an African cichlid. I never had them before. They're a whole different breed of fish from Africa. Okay. About I don't know how many thousand years ago, God made a decision he was going to split a piece of Africa right down the middle. So right along the east coast, from north to south, he opened up the earth, just like that, wide and about 2,000 feet deep. Well, it filled up with water, and eventually this, this came. Okay thousands of varieties of African cichlids, all different colors, all different, pretty much the same shape, but the color, the stripes, yeah. the, the reds, the yellows, the per every color you can think of. And what would you say probably your favorite thing about having a fish tank is? It's extremely re relaxing. I could be sitting there watching television, one eye, is always watching what they're doing, you know? Yeah, I it, could see that, how it's, it's a, very calming. It's a very relaxing, and it's something to do and something to think about. Should I go to the pet shop and see what he's got there, something new that I would like to have? Yeah. So you make a regular trip there and you check it out. Yeah. But I find fish, fish and fishing. It's just a relaxing hobby. Yeah, and they're beautiful to look at. I've been doing it since I was a little, a little boy. Yeah. And now I'm just a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep doing it. We're really enjoying it. We hope everyone watching us enjoys your fish tank. I love looking at all of them. They're all so, I can't believe they're all the same species, but they all look so different. Well, thank you, Les, for letting us come into your home today and having you on Pet of the Week. My pleasure.